Well, sorry for your ears, but you've been warned because this is a real and raw and unedited watch me practice video of Autumn, the Autumn Concerto from the Vivaldi's Four Season Cycle. To be exact, the Violin Concerto in F Major, Opus 8, RV 293. For some reason, I have never studied Vivaldi's Four Seasons. It's embarrassing. Uh, but I talked to a couple of colleagues and, and um, th there are more professional violins who've never studied Vivaldi's Four Seasons. But let's, let's face it, 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 it can't miss in your repertoire. You can't say, I'm a professional violinist. Oh, can you play Vivaldi's Autumn? Uh, no. <laughs> so it's, you know, it, it, it's actually a bit weird. But for some reason, yeah, it just didn't happen. Uh, before conservatory, um, I didn't want to play that kind of cliche repertoire or whatever, which, you know, it's, well, it's interesting to study. So it was just... And during conservatory, then the, the focus is a lot on, uh, you know, the virtuoso uh, romantic repertoire. And in terms of Baroque, yeah, of course, the Bach partitas and sonatas. But again, Vivaldi, Four Seasons, for some reason it hasn't happened. After conservatory, you know, then, then you have orchestra scores to study and all these things to study for gigs and uh, uh, I don't know what. <laughs> so now I'm here starting to study. We've all these four seasons. And um, well, I if I practice something, I can't just practice it and, and don't have a goal. Uh, so what I did, uh, I organized a play together project with you. So I'm creating a virtual orchestra and everyone can join. So even if you are in the first year of violin playing, you can join the second violin and maybe leave out some stuff. Uh, and uh, yeah, so, so we're going to play this all together. So I'll link in the description underneath. And also, you know, I wanted a way, you know, I'm completely not a self learner. Uh, so I teamed up with uh, the awesome concert violinist Antal Salai, who has recorded my one of my favorite recordings of the Vivaldi Four Seasons. So I'm really honored to work with him. And he's creating an exclusive curriculum for Violin Lounge. Um, that teaches Vivaldi's Four Seasons. So that's great. Um, and that course is now open for enrollment and it will close soon and the first 10 students will get a Vivaldi Four Seasons themed goodie bag. So uh, that link is also in the description uh, underneath because, you know, I just need um, goals for practice and I need really good instruction. So uh, perhaps you recognize that, that you don't just practice and then until the end of times. <laughs> so I hope that you will join my virtual orchestra. Now, uh, I'm procrastinating a little bit because this is all very embarrassing. I mean, why haven't I studied this much earlier? Uh, well, let's go and see where this video ends up. Already to be flat didn't come out. Uh, okay. Uh -huh. That was out of tune. Why? Why was that out of tune? All right, let's go back. Play through. <laughs> sure about this bowing here. Um, I don't want to make it like a sp slow spaccato, but I want it to be short. Hmm, off the string is nicer. Okay, I'm going to practice this slowly first. I like 
that ringing E there. I could also go down a position. Do it in second position. I like that ringing E there. Hmm. Let's look at the end. Preferably with the third um, in tune. If I can do a trill, I can probably do this. My brain just bugged there. Okay, let's do that transition there. Because that was just luck that that was sort of in tune. with vibrato slatte, don't fix it with vibrato. This is a tricky. Sound in the background is baby Tristan getting really excited about this piece, so the reviews are good. Oh, that was out of tune. from the one third to the other is difficult. Drinks deeply from the cup of Bacchus. <laughs> that's the next part that's coming. <laughs> All these scenes, it's beautiful in Four Seasons. Um, so uh, I, I miss being drunk. <laughs> I haven't been drinking in three years, by the way. Let's first make sure. Let's make sure that an A must be the, the same as that one in the first position. So the, the tricky thing about it, this run isn't exceptionally difficult or anything. Um, but the thing is that you go over all four strings and that messes up at least my intonation. Let's practice this 
is a bit with double stops. <laughs> Imagine that people want to just leave a comment saying just intonation. <laughs> that would make me feel bad, by the way. There it is. Took a long while, Slatter. Okay, <laughs> let's try what I can make of it. <laughs> sure, under tempo. Ah, out of tune. Sorry. Well, not as bad as it just was. All right, uh, these runs. Let's first make sure that these octaves are kind of cleaned up. And then we can kind of um, put in between the, the scales. Let's now fumble in the scales. This is why you practice scales, guys. Okay, now. practice your skills more than I do, then this doesn't happen to you. Tristan, ga je lekker slapen? Tristan is fighting his sleep. Maybe too much noise, too much out of tune notes to fall asleep. Let's try to remember what was on the last page. Oké, 
Okay, you need to figure out the rhythm there. So. So for now, I'm going to just do accents uh, for every beat until I uh, can play it better. <laughs> Transitions are really tricky and they are fast. My hand just doesn't want to go to the fourth position, it's just Articulation needs to improve. My hand, with fourth position, my hand really says nope, <laughs> not doing that today. Thank you. 
We can do this. <laughs> Not so difficult. Another drunk. I'm just distracted trying to remember how wine tasted. <laughs> For those who don't really know me, I've been Pregnant and breastfeeding, then pregnant and breastfeeding, and that's it, you know, last three years, so, and then you're not allowed to drink, of course, so. At least I have an excuse that I don't know how to play drunk. <laughs> or I'm playing the drunk. Dr no, well, whatever. Let's do the drunk again. It's easier than the previous drunk. Now see how rusty my second and fourth positions are. Mm -hmm. And in tempo, this is quite tricky. Though. I'm just trying to keep this like near the frog. I'm in control. or in the G string position. Let's see what works. I'm figuring this out. High works. Good for the pinky muscles, this one. This piece is 
good for dusting off my fourth position. <laughs> Nation here. Can you figure out a fingering there? Not going to do that now. Where's the video's going to be? Wait a minute. Okay, now the last bit. fingering I don't know if I'm good. well I'm going to ponder about it later so uh, this is enough <laughs> well I'm very happy that I'm going to learn to play this properly uh, in the Vivaldi course that is open now so uh, you can learn alongside me and see my progress and send in your own videos for feedback and get the awesome exclusive curriculum of my Antal Zalai. Oh, I'm so honored to work with him and uh, that he wanted to make these videos sharing all his secrets about playing the Vivaldi's Four Seasons so well. So the link is in the description underneath if you want to learn to play uh, this uh, piece a lot better than I just did. Um, and if you want to learn it alongside me. And um, yeah, you can learn it if you are an intermediate or advanced violinist. Um, it goes up to fifth position. Uh, it's all not so hard. Well, <laughs> my playing didn't really testify to that. <laughs> it's tricky. You can learn a lot from it bowing wise, uh, certainly in fast runs and, and also that uh, switching quickly between different rhythms and making these quick transitions and stuff. Um, so uh, yeah, you're welcome. And um, to join that and also uh, at least join my play together project, my virtual orchestra, that's all for free. Uh, and uh, you can play along with uh, play along tracks and with sheet music and um, you can join uh, for, for the solo part but uh, also for just a, a first violin part or the second violin uh, that's you know even if you're playing for just a year maybe you can already do uh, the second violin part so I'll share all the details about that play along project so because I'm really looking forward to play together with you this uh, beautiful piece uh, so this autumn I yeah uh, this brightens up my autumn I always feel a little bit gloomy in the end of the summer because I'm really a summer person <laughs> so uh, are you a summer person or more a winter or autumn person share it below but this autumn project is uh, you know the course learning it and then playing it together with you is really brightening up my autumn so I'm really looking forward to that and it's really uh, 
keeps me going to practice Vivaldi 40 hours a day. <laughs> well, uh, this all was, of course, very embarrassing again. Um, so leave a comment if you are joining my Play Together project. So, um, and uh, perhaps if you like these uh, Watch Me Practice videos and what piece you would like me to practice next. But for the coming time, I'm going to practice this Vivaldi Autumn Concerto. So have a great day. Bye bye.